Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look and see how much work is required to pump a certain amount of fluid through a pipe. So what we're going to do is we're only going to take this small section of fluid right here with the distance d inside the pipe. We have a certain amount of force pushing over here, a certain amount of force pushing over here, and friction force pushing back, which means we have pressure P1 over here and pressure P2 over there. Remember that pressure times volume is basically work. So now, notice we start out with Bernoulli's equation. We have the additional term right here, which is caused by the internal friction. So we have the frictional head loss uh, term added. And now we're multiplying both sides of the equation by A times D, the cross-section area times the distance, which is equal to the volume of that section of fluid inside the pipe. When we do so, pressure times volume gives us work. And so we have work on both sides of the equation. Notice that this becomes the kinetic energy term and this becomes the potential energy term because density times volume gives us mass, which gives us one half mv squared or kinetic energy and mgh, so potential energy. We do so on both sides of the equation and here instead of density, we end up with mass as well. Now, since if we have a level pipe, the kinetic energy will remain the same, so K, kinetic energy 1 equals kinetic energy 2 because the velocity doesn't change if the cross-section area doesn't change, and the potential energy remains the same since there's no change in height. So therefore, these terms can then be set equal to zero, and we have work done by the force over here is going to be equal to the work done by the force over there, plus, and let's see here, oh, this shouldn't be an equal sign, this should be plus, whoop, there we go, plus, the frictional head loss times the weight of the fluid inside that section of pipe. Then if we put work two on the left side, the difference in the work between what this force does and what that force does equals the frictional head loss times the weight of the water in that segment of fluid. I keep calling water and fluid, but assuming that it's water. And therefore, this term right here represents the energy lost due to overcoming the friction. And that will then be the extra work done by W1 compared to W2. So the difference in the work done in any section equals the energy loss by overcoming friction in that section of the pipe. And that's how it works.